Come on, man. Y'all got to get it. Basketball gods need to be on your side. Come on. <sighs> Y'all went for a fucking layup, bitch, in the gate about the clock for the three-pointer. You silly ass. You trying to win the game, bitch. It ain't got to be. It's, no. No, not you, bitch. No. Hope you feel bad. Hope you feel real bad. Hope you walk with your head down. Our crowd was incredible. Our fans were incredible. I think you can see the progress that this team is making. And um, that's why this one hurts a lot because we were right there and we had plenty of opportunities to go win the game. And then you don't. And it's just some little things that we do to ourselves. But yeah, I thought our crowd was great. They, they rallied behind us. They gave us some great energy and you know, I hope they continue to come back because it's going to be a fun season. We got to remember we played two of the top teams in the league and we were right there um, with the with the sun tonight and really had a few opportunities to take the lead. She was right. She was right. They had a few opportunities to take the lead. She was right. I don't know what the fuck they was doing at the end of the game, giving the ball to Boston. What the fuck was y'all doing? Y'all needed a three to win the game, and y'all got Caitlin Clark in the game, and she was revving up. She was hot. She was the reason why y'all was still in it. Y'all was down. She put y'all up. Y'all gave the ball to Boston, trying to go for two. See, this is probably what we got with this fucking female basketball. Y'all ain't aggressive enough. Y'all ain't, let me take these fucking glasses off so I can get serious. You bitches ain't aggressive enough. Y'all should have gave the ball to Caitlin, and she should have been putting up a fucking three. Hit that bitch. She's the savior. Missed that bitch. Oh, well. Oh, well, they're going to talk shit about you regardless. It's you're fucking, you're damn if you're doing, damn if you don't. In this, in this case, your ass is damn for not doing. Coach, for not drawing up a play to get Kaylin the ball to fucking shoot a three. What the fuck is your problem? You see, this is, this is the problem with that team. This is why they got so goddamn sorry. Because Kaylin, your team is sorry as shit. That team went 5-31 and 31 the year before. And before that shit, after that, they went like 7-20 and 20 something. Some shit like that. Ridiculous. They just changed coaches because the bitches ain't getting it done. They didn't pick first again in the draft because they're not getting it done. You got the best player from best rookie in the rookie class. And you can't get it done. You can't get it done because you don't got shit around her. So for right now, Kayla, I need you to keep your composure. You did the right thing in that damn uh, interview. You did the right thing. You said the right things. Classic. Classic. And yes, you guys are on the rise. And the fans are there. Did y'all see how many goddamn fans in them stands? There's a lot of motherfuckers in them stands, man. I, I used to talk shit about the WNBA, but there was a lot of bitches out there. Y'all see the goddamn stands? Packed. And you know why they packed? They packed to see Kaitlyn Clark. Y'all can say all this shit that y'all was talking about with, with the Aces and Asia and all this shit popping. No, fuck all that. These bitches didn't been there. The Sue Birds and the Dana Tarasis, all y'all hoes, the Cambridge, all y'all hoes didn't been there. And it wasn't nobody paying no fucking attention to y'all. You brought this bitch up in there who just set all these goddamn records in college. We want to see if the bitch can do it in the WNBA. Does your game translate? How it's going to correlate over? It's going to take a minute. She probably going to end up being a goddamn leader score. You know what? If I was Kate, I'd be like, man, fuck it. Put the team on back. I'm going to go out there and drop 30 every night. She can do it. She dropped 20 in her first game. She dropped 22 the third game. She dropped nine. Nine points, you know, second game. Eh. And then this last game, up four games, she dropped 17 points. If she went out there and pulled that three, she would have hit that bitch. She would have won that game. I was waiting for it. I'm sitting there watching. I'm anticipating. I'm wired up. Get Kaylin the ball so she could win this shit for y'all. And y'all didn't do it. Why didn't y'all do it? All y'all doing is adding fuel to the fire from all these fucking haters out there. All these people that's hating on this goddamn female, right? That do realize people said the same shit. To you guys about the people that y'all root for all the NBA because there's a lot of NBA players that's talking shit about these WNBA players because that's why nobody don't want to watch them because you can't compare them. You can't compare them. It's two different sports. That's why these girls got to do something different to make them stand out. And they got somebody in the catering to help them stand out. And guess what? Juju coming. Juju going to be the one that motherfucker turn the whole shit around. But for right now, Kaylin going to have to keep these people inspired and interested in watching this shit. She gonna have to. Did you see all the fucking people out there in the stands? They read it. I saw some $88,000 seats. $88,000 to, to a goddamn game. WNBA. For her. I'm gonna go to one of these bitches, but not that shit. I ain't about to spend that kind of fucking money. Them goddamn flow seats, same shit too. $1,000 for a flow seat. Fuck that.
I'm going to be somewhere in that bitch, but not on the flow. And I'm going to wear me a goddamn Kayla Clark jersey, bitch. I want you to sign it. Wherever you want to find you, sign this whole I am an ally for y'all to get this shit right. I'm telling y'all because we got to open the door for them at some point in time. These bitches over there is trying. They trying. And they need to be inspired. And they, I hope they be inspired by some shit like this because if a person like me is paying attention to y'all and know y'all motherfucking names, the, 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 new, the new class... Athletes that just stepped into this bitch because right now Kaylin Clark is out doing all in the top four motherfuckers, the Angel Reese, right? The motherfucker Rakia Jackson and Cameron Brink. She out doing all y'all bitches right now as far as stats go. She out doing y'all. She's a stat leader. She gonna win Rakia of the year. She gonna win because she on a sorry ass team. All the other motherfuckers on teams that's already set and got players ahead of them. So I, I can attribute that to they, they, they low stats, but they're rookies. And ain't too many rookies and even in the NBA that they came out there and were just balling the fuck out. It wasn't. I mean, LeBron and them is anomalies. Go look at Kobe. Kobe wasn't a shit when he first got into the NBA. Fuck this. Come off the bench. Behind Eddie Jones. Y'all remember that shit? So before y'all start talking more and more shit about this person, because you're only talking shit about her, because it's been so many before her. And now it's like, why y'all talking about her? It's the same reason why it was so many people before motherfucking LeBron James. And when people start talking about LeBron James, be like, oh, no, man, fuck that. What about Magic Johnson? Everybody, what about him? What about him? Nigga, we're talking about right now. I ain't talking about fucking ancient history. I'm talking about history in the making. And this is history in the making from her ass. She did it. She did it on the lower level, and y'all pissed because she didn't win a championship. Do y'all know what the fuck she went against to, to win a championship? If that bitch would have won a championship against South Carolina, I know you motherfuckers can say nothing because she was the best fucking player on her team, dropping 30-plus points. The closest bitch next to her probably dropped like 9 or 10 because they was only scoring like 60, 70 points a game, and she making up half of that shit. She needs some help. Same thing going on with the goddamn the Indiana Fever. She needs some motherfucking help. And the league need help. The league need help by getting more money, opening up more teams, and more of these females who go play college ball know they're going to have a chance to go play in the league because it's open. I told y'all last video, if I'm a bitch that play basketball, I'm not looking to motherfucking go to no WNBA. I ain't looking because he don't pay shit. I can go get a regular job and make more than this. I can. So I need to have an incentive. Same thing that goes for as an incentive for people to fucking play the game. We need an incentive for people to watch the game. Kaylin Clark is that incentive. That's paving the way for all the bitches that did come before her. The people that came before her, Sue Bird, Dana Tarasi, talking all that shit about her on your podcast, looking like some fucking tough guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What the fuck is y'all doing? Hey, bitch, you better not. Look, this is what I took from that. In my words, hey, bitch, you better be ready when you get here. We started this shit. Ain't no way we finna let your little punk ass come in here and take it from us. That's what the fuck I feel. That's how I feel a bitches was talking. Bitch, fuck that. Y'all need to be mentors to her ass. Y'all need to be mentors because she's a young. She's young. She's probably 21, 22. She's young in the game. The mental. The mental, man, these bitches, you saw how Angel broke down when the motherfuckers lost. She about to have a goddamn fit. You ain't finna see her on no goddamn Instagram and TikTok lives doing no videos right now. This bitch is sad. She's sad. Because <laughs> they lost. She's sad because they lost. These motherfuckers is 0-4. Did you see that press conference from her? Probably like that because she used to losing. <laughs> Probably, probably used to losing with them sorry bitches in the beginning when she first started. Then they got good. Because this same person... Is the one who knocked out South Carolina last year. That's why South Carolina didn't play in the the W the, the, the NCAA championship game because they got knocked out by Iowa. Kaylin Clark did that shit. Then Kaylin Clark just knocked out Angel this past year. And she knocked out UConn. She got beat by South Carolina, but them bitches was winning before they before. They was winning. That first half, they were winning. People was nervous. They switched up the goddamn scheme, though. They switched the scheme, started start double teaming her. Shit, the reason why LSU lost because y'all had that little white girl out there trying to guard her. What did Larry Bird, what I tell you about Larry Bird? Larry Bird said, don't put that motherfucking white person on me. You better put a black person on me. I don't give a fuck. Because I'm going to cook his ass. That's how Kaylin is. Bitch, get out there and cook. You're a competitor. I love to see it. The competitive spirit in me loves to see that bitch go out there and do what she does. So fuck how y'all feel. Fuck how you feel. And then the casual viewer in me wants to see her make it so I have a reason to keep watching y'all perspectives people there's different ones it's just like the comments i get i got comments talking about oh this bitch ain't no savior i mean ant-man is a savior but she ain't no savior yeah the fuck she is 
Y'all do realize that we talking about WNBA basketball because of her. I'm talking about WNBA basketball because of her. I'm naming WNBA basketball players because of her. Stop it. Fucking stop it. Get this bitches her roses. Give her goddamn roses. Because it's a change in the guard, people. It's a change in the guard. And all of it. It's a change in the guard in the WNBA. It's a change in the guard in the NBA. That motherfucker LeBron don't want to go nowhere. LeBron want to get him a ring, but it's too late, bro. It's too late. These new motherfuckers that have been ushered in is ready. Look, so many people are talking about Ja Morant and fucking Zion Williams being the next ones up. The motherfuckers is not even mentioned anymore. One, because Ja keep doing dumb shit with guns and he fucking injured himself and fucking Zion can't stay underweight. You fat bitch, stop eating. The fuck is your problem? You mean to tell me that you'd rather fucking lose your NBA contract over food? You, you got a love for food like that? You know what? It's Mental Health Awareness Month. Come talk to me, Zion, if you got problems like that. Because you got some mental problems that your motherfucking ass can't stop eating. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, man? I know food is good, but shit. Goddamn. It's not better than your fucking NBA career. People want to see you play. Not eat, bitch. And if that's the case, go and start a fucking eating channel. An eating challenge. Go start an eating channel with your fat ass. Go talk to Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley had fat problems too. <laughs> Round mile on the rebound. But this bitch ass got it together. That's what you need to do. See, mentorship. These youngsters need mentorship. People like Ja, people like Zion, people like Kaitlyn, they need mentorship because when the pressure comes down, y'all don't realize how young these people are. They young in mind. And y'all breaking their spirits. But fuck that. Kaylin got somebody like me, an ally. I pray that Kaylin see this. Somebody get sh share this fucking video so Kaylin can see so she knows she got somebody like me behind her. Because I'm going to go get me a Kaylin Claw jersey. I'm going to go to a WNBA basketball game and find her. And I want her to sign that shit. I want to shake her hand. <laughs> and I bet y'all be like, what about everybody else that came before? You ain't shaking their hand? Yeah, I did. Sh Cheryl Swoops. All them bitches for the comments, the Lisa, what's her name? Lisa Leslie and Tia Thomas. Tia Thompson, the bitches that play. Lisa Leslie played for the, the Sparks. But all them comments players, yeah, I done shook their hands. I done been to a game before. I done seen them in the mall. I used to work in the mall. Yeah, I met them before. And now it's time to meet this new class. It is a new day, guys, a new day. Look at this fucking NBA shit you got right now. People thought Denver's going to be the, the next ones up. Got their asses knocked out that bitch by a young and up-and-coming MJ-looking motherfucker. He looked like Michael Jordan. Actually, he looked like my son a little bit. He looked like my kid. <laughs> And I love this motherfucker. I love his tenacity. I love what he brings to the goddamn game. They asked this bitch if he wanted to win the game for, for Mike Conley, right? Because Mike Conley been in the fucking NBA for like, I don't know, about 25 years, some shit like that. He been in there just as long as as long as long LeBron and been swept. All his, all his game sevens. He ain't won none of them, bitch. He was like zero and four, some shit like that. And they asked, they asked Ant-Man, hey, are you trying to win this game for Conley? Conley, like, fuck no, I'm trying to win this shit for me. Exactly. Exactly. I'm trying, why the fuck am I trying to win this game for this dude? Bitch, you better got there and play. Better got there and compete like I am because I'm trying to win this hoe. Even though he only dropped 16 points in that last game. But he had his ass clamped Murray down. Defense. Clamped Murray ass up. That's what we love to see. Your, your, your favorite NBA player would never. Would never. LeBron James is going to go out there and clap up nobody. Fuck him. I don't give a damn. And if he's 6'9", he's supposed to stop somebody. <laughs> but Edwards out there, he's the truth. He's the truth, and he is exactly what the NBA needs, a competitor who's willing to get out there and fight and talk his shit. That motherfucker talking his shit. This is a day and age where we finna go talk our shit. I'm talking my shit right now on the microphone. Let's talk our shit. We also got to produce, and he's a producer, right? I want to see what's going to happen between them and the Celtics because Pacers ain't going nowhere. I don't give a fuck about the Pacers. I thought this Tatum's time. They, they talk too much shit about Tatum and all that goddamn Batman and Robin talk between him and Jalen Brown. Nah, fuck that. Jalen Brown is, is Batman and Tatum is Superman. That's what I be saying. I be fucked. I'm Superman. We teammates, bitch. I ain't under you. I ain't your, I ain't your subordinate. <laughs> fuck you mean. So this is where we are right now. A change in the guard. It feels, it, 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 it would feel weird to me had I not made this trans transition over to being just the fan, the casual fan, because I used to be rah, rah, sis, boom, bah, just going crazy because I'm from Houston. And, you know, we got sports teams out there, bitch. JJ, come back. JJ White, listen to this. JJ, bring your ass back so I can go be a Texans fan again and, and scream and shout. Bring your ass back, man. It's the perfect time. They, they can win a championship with your big ass. Bring your ass back. 
So I'm from that. I'm from that that cut where people had at the athletes that we love to watch. And now I'm just a casual fan. And this shit is wide open. It's wide open. I don't give a fuck about Denver losing. Let's bring somebody else in and win that bitch. Let's keep the parody going because there was no parody in the NBA. It's there now for all for everybody to be excited. And I don't care. All y'all Knicks fans, y'all got to be fucking kidding me. Y'all really thought that they was going to fucking win that series? Seriously? With all them fucking injuries? Put it right there. Fuck everything else. You had four star starters out. Four. But you thought y'all was going to happen. You thought, and then Jalen Brunson broke his goddamn hand. Hey, man. That shit was in the, it was in the making because he had to do more just to keep his team in competition. He had to. Eventually something going to happen to the motherfucker, whether it was going to be a hand or a leg injury, arm injury, it's going to be something. And you saw what happened. So that bitch needs some help. LeBron James, take your ass over there to New York. If I was LeBron James, I'd go to New York. I really would go to New York. Fuck everything. In your, year, in your career in New York, just go play one year over there. Be trying to get you one more ring. One more. Cause just because if you don't, that shit is over. It's too many, it's too much talent. KD, Curry, LeBron, James Harden, Westbrook, Kawhi, all these motherfuckers is pushing 35 and up. 35 plus. LeBron is an anomaly. You don't see shit like what the fuck he doing. He on that goddamn T12 diet, like that, that, that fucking Tom Brady was on. That's why his ass still playing. He paid two million dollars for his body. I wonder what the fuck does two million dollars do for you. Put that bitch in a cryogenic chamber. That motherfucker off that train like Goku. <laughs> Look, man, it's here. It's this, the times are changing and we need to usher in the new. These are the new and I appreciate what I see on all fronts. I appreciate it. WNBA, I appreciate, I appreciate the product y'all putting out there right now. I really do. And I'm telling y'all, thank Kaylin Ford. Sue Bird, Dennis Tarasi, y'all stop being some haters. Y'all mad because y'all it wasn't y'all. I'm telling y'all, they mad because it wasn't they jealous. Cause these bitches is like, man, we've been playing all this time and nobody really looked at us like nobody pay attention. Cause like Vaughn, y'all arrogant as fuck. Y'all arrogant as fuck. Y'all got some big ass egos over there the way y'all be talking, talking about everybody been watching y'all shits. No, the fuck they have not. No, everybody hasn't. The product was trash. It's great now. Nah. Well, people getting high off this shit. <laughs> People pass it around, pop up, give, baby. Hey, that's my time. That's my time. I want to say thank you for all the new subscribers to, to my channel. Appreciate y'all so much, man. This has been a great run for me right now and experiencing what I'm experiencing right now in life because I'm up there, guys. I, I, I just look young and look sexy. I look good. I just look good and all this other stuff, man. But I'm up there, bro. I, I'm, I'm 80s, baby, man. I just seen it all. I just seen it all. But you know what I didn't see? I didn't see the WNBA have as much luster, right? Have as, have as much awe as it has right now. And it's a good thing to see, man. It's fun times. I love to see shit in its infancy and then what it could possibly become. And it's, it's here right now. So salute to all y'all females. I'm rooting for y'all. I really am. I want to be there to see Kaylee when I first got thought it was going to be last night, but it wasn't. She going to get that bitch eventually. And... The casual fan, like I keep saying, is going to have a, a reason to continue to keep watching because she's going to keep on balling. And stop hating on her because your favorite rookie has never went out there and just balled the fuck out when they first started. It doesn't happen. They they ease into the shit. Even Jordan, all of them, they ease into it. But she's still scoring a lot of motherfucking points. She's still scoring. She's the leading scorer for all the rookies. And it's quite possibly because our team fucking trash. <laughs> trash. I ain't going to let this shit down. Boston, I don't know what the fuck... Kayla should have had that ball at the last part of the game. She should have had, but she didn't, and that's y'all's fault. Y'all guys, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for giving me y'all time. For all the new subscribers, I'm going to put y'all pictures and stuff like all that, whatever, whatever, fuck your names, somewhere around this shit so people can see. Because people, like I said, people like to be acknowledged. People like to feel appreciated. And Kaylin, for real, I appreciate you. I appreciate you because of what you, the attention you have brought to the game for a person like me. And that's what it's about. Fuck everybody else out there that's talking that stupid shit about you being a savior. They don't get it. They don't really understand where I'm coming from with this. But some people do. And those people have left comments and we've talked and we're interacting back and forth. That's the ones that I'm trying to talk to. Everybody else can kiss my ass. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm playing. I, I, I appreciate all y'all comments too because it's conversation. Not debate and not arguments. I don't do all that shit. I, I converse, guys. And great conversation with y'all guys right here. You guys take care. Have a great day. Peace. Thank y'all for tuning in too.
hey if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that notification button so you can stay alert for when i drop videos hit that share button so you can get this video out there man because i'm telling you i need to get this to cc so i can get down to these games man we they need us support and i don't care about the bitches talking about they don't we don't need y'all come on stop bullshitting yeah y'all do y'all need the money we need y'all need the money so we can pay the players so we can get better better players get more teams and better coaches because the coaches is fucking trash there's no interest in this shit if I'm a fucking basketball player, a female basketball player, I'm not interested in fucking going and play that shit right now when I can make some money somewhere else, right? Kaylin was smart, though, for turning that big, that big three bullshit down. Five million dollars, you're going to give me to go play over there? I'm going to get cooked by these fucking grown old. They're going to try to make an example out of me. Or I'm going to take all these fucking endorsement deals I'm getting over there. Kaylin made the right move. You're trying to bring a lot of attention to the WNBA, not the fucking big three. Fucking play the old man basketball four. Y'all my guys. Peace.